Apple is gearing up to introduce the iPhone 15 on September 12, following its tradition of unveiling new products at its Cupertino headquarters. However, this year, there will be a significant China-shaped shadow over the stage. Chinese consumers have a strong affinity for the iPhone, making China Apple's second-largest single market by sales outside the U.S. and its third-largest region overall, trailing behind the U.S. and Europe. Chinese consumers accounted for a substantial $74 billion of Apple's revenue in the full year leading up to September 2022. Additionally, China's growth by revenue outpaced that of Europe, indicating ongoing prospects for Apple's growth beyond saturated Western markets. Nevertheless, two major challenges have emerged just one week before the new iPhone's launch. Government agencies ban iPhones. Staff at central government agencies in China have been banned from using iPhones as part of Beijing's efforts to reduce reliance on technology not made in China. This move follows the U.S. ban on equipment sales from Chinese tech firms Huawei and ZTE during the Trump administration. Given the deteriorating relations between the U.S. and China, Apple might have anticipated such a ban. Huawei's new 5G smartphone, Huawei, a Chinese phone and equipment maker, has launched a new 5G smartphone, the Mate 60 Pro, which appears to be a viable homegrown alternative to the iPhone. Despite being barred from accessing Western chip-making equipment, Huawei has managed to release a high-quality smartphone that has garnered attention for its advanced technology and apparent domestic manufacturing. The advanced chip inside the Mate 60 Pro was made by Chinese company SNMIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation. Analysts have noted that Huawei's and consequently, China's progress in this space has been better than expected. While the Mate 60 Pro may not find its way into many pockets in the Western world due to geopolitical concerns, it has the potential to gain popularity among Chinese consumers. This could pose a challenge to the prospects of the iPhone 15 in China. In summary, the combination of government bans on iPhones in Chinese government agencies and Huawei's new smartphone offering could impact Apple's performance in the Chinese market. It will be interesting to see how these developments influence the iPhone 15's reception among Chinese consumers.